Hi everyone, it's Andy from Ice the Mosh, we're here with the guys from Aluna. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Uh, now, just come off stage. Yeah. How did it go? Amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah it's great. Of it. Yeah, totally. Is this your first experience of a hard rock hell yeah. environment? Yeah, is, yeah. Never, totally. never attended, never played it, so um, yeah. And how did you manage to get yourselves on the book? We asked. <laughs> yes, that's polite. Yes. That's the, re the reason I ask is because, as you are probably aware, the Hard Rock Hell team yeah. do that many other festivals yeah. Yeah. and they have the uh, Highway to Hell where yeah. they get a lot of young bands to go and play. And whoever wins gets a spot yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. National runners up get Hammerfest and they've got different events. So I'm always curious to find out whether fans have played the Highway to Hell. Yeah, no, no. no we haven't. And no. it's just kind of, it's just once you're in, it always feels that the Hard Rock Hell is just a big family. Yeah, and once we get you, that, very friendly. Yeah, yeah amazing. You'll, you'll find that most of the media here are the same media that come to all of them. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like everything, it's, if you trust the other team that you're working with, why spoil it? So, with Andy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. sends me stuff because he knows full well that I'm going to do my best to try to catch up with yeah. the interviews, go yeah. to the gigs and do everything. Yeah. Whereas if I wasn't willing to do that, what's the point? Yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. you've got to get some exposure. Yeah. Now, um, apologies for my ad hoc interview style <laughs> today. <laughs> um, do you have an album or an EP out currently? Yeah, we've yeah. got um, one EP, two albums, and we're just releasing our third album next year. Right, early next year. Mid, yeah, yeah, mid to late. Right, yeah. <laughs> so it's not starting recording processes yet. Um, has we've demoed some yeah, we've demoed, demoed two some. two tracks right. for Napalm Records. Right. Um, and we've probably got just under half of it written. So we're hoping to record it early next year and then release it. So you've got everything in the pipeline. Yeah. You've got everything written. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Get yeah. Time, yeah. Just get it done. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, for the people that don't know of you. Yeah. Are you able to express what the Luna live sound is in three words? Pummeling, <laughs> melodic, and loud. Is that right? Not, yeah, that's a fair. Not, 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 not crushing. Not, 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 <laughs> not crushing. We don't, we don't like that term. <laughs> Doom with melody. Doom with melody, yeah. yeah. Heavy melody, two words. Yeah. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to get the, I'm just trying to get the picture in my head because obviously it, these, I asked that question for two reasons. One is because I want to see what you guys think you sound like. And yeah. two, I think the genres are a pain in the ass. Yeah, they are. Like, oh, because yeah. if you're a good band playing good rock music, yeah. irrespective, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. Whereas totally agree. some bands like to be pigeonholed. Yeah. Mm. Um, we used to call ourselves just a heavy rock band. Yeah, it we, get, we get scope, called basically. Doom, we get called Stone, and we get called Female Fronted, because that's apparently a genre. <laughs> right. um, but we just call ourselves heavy, heavy, yeah. heavy rock. It's really. one of those that the genres have seemed to have took over everything. Yeah. And I get myself in trouble by saying this, so I'm going to say it again because I don't give a damn. Is I always say that a lot of the press bring out the genres. Yeah. Because yeah. it's an excuse that when they write a review, they can say, oh, it's a doom band. Yeah, doom that's it. Band, yeah. So yeah. we know yeah. what they sound like. Yeah. Where no band is the same. No. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of fans, like, we have a lot of elements, don't we? Mm. We're not just a doom band. We have that element. We have lots of other elements. Well, that's as why well. I think with the genres, yeah. you're, you're getting pigeonholed in so many totally. different areas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which they should just turn around and just say, no, you're a heavy rock band. Yeah, exactly. End of story. Yeah. I think it's helpful in a way to let fans know what they let what sort of band you are. It is, but, but just to just to like categorise you. Yeah. What if you wanted one day to write a completely different feel for something? You've got a yeah, riff exactly. There, you you it's stuck it. You're stuck yeah. in that, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. 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 Well, that's yeah. not what I want. It's hard to break the scene, isn't it? It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. But I'm assuming you're not getting many much pressures from uh, the record label. No, they're really, really good with us, aren't they? Yeah, they're giving us time to demo some stuff, yeah. aren't they? And it we, to... Well, we initially released our second album on Psycho Doom Ellie, which is an yeah. Austrian label. And then we sent that to Napalm Records and they re-released it as a LP. Um, so that's how we sort of got, on, got in with Napalm Records. So. And then you were in with such a great label that Amazing. it's good for the bands. Yeah. Which yeah. is nice to hear, because there's some like people who sort of push and push and push, but yeah. I know the guys at Napalm will just let you... They are, they're, they're amazing, yeah, they are. So and I, they believe in marketing and promotion as well, like pushing the bands rather than just releasing it and then leaving it. So, so has yeah. this been a one-off gig for you guys, or are you currently in the middle of a UK tour? We did a gig last night, didn't we? Yeah. Um, we've been doing, um, we did a tour at the beginning of the year, yeah. Um, but yeah, these are just like a series of one-offs. We were in Liverpool last night, just right. played a gig on the way over, really. 
just to kind of get yeah. yourself back in the groove. So yeah, it's exactly. a bit of a it. practice, but it was a really it was a good gig, isn't it? So. Yeah. So it's been, obviously it's one of those that I'm assuming. What's the rest of this year got planned? Not the long left of it. Is We've got it one last gig, haven't we, in Brighton yeah. in December? Um, Carry on rolling. Yeah, literally just like we're constantly in the studio writing. So it's just, yeah, prepared, yeah, getting ready and yeah. Then next year get that album it's done. And getting yeah, out there, it. Europe again, and hopefully yeah. beyond. Yeah. Now, out of all the places you've been to, yeah. Where would you say has been the most responsive crowd? Poland. And the reasons being? They knew every word to every song. Right. And yeah. it was a Sunday <laughs> night in a tiny little town in Poland. And it was just yeah, incredible. It was. Like, it, it actually choked me to tears, yeah. which I've ne it's never happened to me before. Should we cut that out? It's never, <laughs> happened. <laughs> it's never happened. This is just something that happened. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, incredible. And Berlin, we played, we played Desert yeah, Test in Berlin, and that was uh, probably one of our biggest crowds. That was amazing, yeah. So has your, does your, has, does your set change from playing a festival to a normal show? Yeah, we do change our set, don't we? We try and... We try and do songs that we enjoy playing, but we also try and match it to the gig we're playing. Right. So if we're playing a, a heavier Doom gig, we sort of bring out those sort of songs. And if right. we're playing so something like this, we've got our more sort of... So the, the eclectic mix of songs in your back catalogue yeah. yeah. means you can... We can, we can, we can sort of like pick We've and choose. We've got a pool of live songs, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There'll still be a couple that will drop in. Yeah, there, exactly. And bring for us, but. Yeah. It's Wonderful. nice to have a selection to choose from. Well, I was going to say, because as, again, I, I like plugging this place because these are, the, these guys here at HH have done us the world, but we've only been going since February. Yeah. Oh, and really? since February, they've, they've took us on board yeah. and they love what we do, so we kind of give them yeah. the same. But because obviously you've got the AOI, you've got the Prague, you've got the Hammerfest now. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever came back to perform Hammerfest, yeah. would your set be very different to what you played today, do you feel? Not. I don't think, I think we'd probably no. swap a couple of songs, but yeah. generally it'll be the, the same kind it's of... It's just the same sort of yeah. stuff, you playing what you know best. Yeah. Do you feel that you were able to enjoy the concerts more recently? Yeah, I love with it. With everything? Yeah. Even with the new material yeah, that's been definitely. Oh, yeah. well, We've only played like the, what, the one song, Ricky Wood Coven, off the next album. We've only played that at three. This is our third gig yeah. we played it at, and every right. gig it's gone down really, really well. So, that's so giving you positive yeah, that does. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty yeah. scary playing it for the first time. We played it for the first time in Birmingham, yeah. so it was a lot of people who knew us, yeah, and it was really, not too bad, but it's but a bit scary because you, you want them to like it, you know. But yeah, it's really but good. then when you get to somewhere where not many people may have heard of you, yeah. And you kind of open yourselves out to all sorts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, exactly. As long as it's going down well and it's giving yeah, you Yeah, I think it has to be. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Awesome. Now, is there anything pending for next year that you're allowed to say before Andy shouts at me? Um, yeah, we've got. Um, what's that Doom? Uh, the Doom Fest. Yeah, Fear Fest in Birmingham, which is a big three day Doom Festival. Yeah. Um, Doom will be doomed. Yeah, we're headlining Doom. Uh, Death will be doomed Death will be in Bristol, and the trip out in September, which is a big psychedelic retro biker festival on. So the, the, in, the near dates Milton are coming Keynes. in slowly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And you're hoping to be really busy. Yeah, well, we're hoping to do a big tour as well off the back of the next album. Oh, I was going to say because well. you don't want to be too yeah. busy. Cause you need to get that album. Yeah. 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 Well, there is a UK tour that we can't talk about yet, but that. that no, you should tell me. <laughs> <laughs> It should be happening in August. Not good wing wing. There's only one date <laughs> that you need to be careful of, and that's when you come to Manchester, yeah. so I can make sure I'm coming to see yeah, you guys. Yeah, that would be And then, listen. <laughs> and then Europe again. Yeah, yeah we need to get back. Do you yeah. play a lot around Europe? We, we did a like a pretty much two-week tour, didn't we, in April, April and May. Um, that was our, we, we did a one-off gig in Paris, and then we went back in April to do a two-week tour, and it was incredible. So we, we want to spend as much time as possible out there. Better for this place. Yeah, board of England. Yeah, no, it's cold, it's cold it. too, too often. <laughs> like I said, you can say whatever you want to these cameras. I get myself in enough trouble yeah. so it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Well, no, it's been an absolute pleasure catching up with you.